So we first found out Malar was pregnant on the 26th of July. Um, she was just going to the toilet in the morning and we took a urine sample and we just do this by holding a bottle underneath her. And we grabbed a pregnancy test and all of a sudden we were just waiting and it popped up positive and we kind of double took. We looked at it twice and was like, oh, it's positive. A really nice surprise. So we first got a breeding recommendation for our orangutans and um, Charlie's genetics were really important to sustain the population throughout zoos globally and this recommendation came from the European Zoo Association. So once we received that breeding recommendation um, we needed to make sure that Malaw was in good health. So we're today having a look at uh, our orangutan Malur. We just want to make sure she's all in good health as uh, last year when we moved her to Orana, she had a mild anemia in her blood. So we just want to make sure that she's actually otherwise in good health um, and everything is fine and there's no like something underlying problem that we're not seeing because they're very good at hiding things. So the first thing we did was the radiographs. Then we did the ultrasound, so some uh, human sonographers that uh, are very used to doing this in humans and look at reproductive system and organs. Apes are more closely related to humans, so for us it's really useful to have that extra expertise because we have like a short time where you have to do a lot of different things and the more expertise we have that's like you know really helpful and that gives us the best chance to like make sure that she's in good health. So what we're going to do now is um, Mike is going to do the gastroscopy. So we're just going to look at her stomach from the inside. And we just want to make sure uh, like, you know, her stomach is looking all fine. Do you see something where you're worried about that you want? Not yet, bad no. Vibes? Yeah. no. The vets fully checked her overall health and it all came back really well. There was one sign that she was showing slight signs of anemia. Um, so because of this, Malora is on supplements, um, including iron, folic acid, B12 and vitamin C. Shall we give you your supplements, Malora? Your vitamin C and your iron. Good girl. So because Bala is pregnant, today we were doing a training session that covers all behaviours that will be helpful um, in the event of her birth. Mila was in a, what we call a training crate and she has access to this and a night room. And um, this gives us more control if she needs medical intervention or the baby needs medical intervention. Nipple? Yes, well done. Can I pump a little bit? Yes, good girl. So for the training, the behaviours that I was working on was the breast um, pump behaviour. So this is in case we need to extract milk from the law to help supplement feed the baby. Can I use this today? How do you feel about this? Hmm? Tummy? Yes, well done. Good girl. Well done. You are so Fantastic. One of the behaviours that we're working on in the training is um, separation training, just in case we needed to intervene with Malaw and check her medically. I also worked on a behaviour of her to present the baby, and this is just so we can give it a general health check with no um, stress. Trade? Hold. Hold. Yes. Well done! I'm really excited to see how she's going to be as a mother. Um, she's been a mother before and she's been absolutely incredible at it. Just feel really, really lucky to be a part of this whole process with her and this whole um, journey with her. You're a good girl. You're going to be a good mama. Hi. Good girl. Yay! That was good!
Yes. So Mala gave birth on the morning of the 20th of March. So when I came into work um, and was giving her a breakfast around 9am, I noticed she was a bit quiet. Um, and as time went on, she was a bit restless and she was lying on her back and moving on to her side. And then as time progressed, she became even increasingly restless and started contracting. Um, and as her contractions started getting closer, we were timing them. They were about a minute apart and she began to build a nest and get herself comfortable. Um, and then the whole birthing process um, happened. So with the whole scenarios that we planned for, for whether we had to help supplement feed the baby or whether Milan needed veterinary attention or if we had to intervene in any way, and we did not need to do that. We just observed her and made sure that she was healthy, that she passed the placenta, that she um, chew off the umbilical cord properly. She was great and it was perfect that we didn't have to intervene and we could let her do it all naturally. So Barmy is doing really great. Um, we've been observing a lot of things throughout the first couple of weeks just to make sure he was healthy. So one thing was making sure that he had a good strong latch and was suckling correctly and quite frequently. And another sign was that he had a strong grip on Malo. Um, and all these signs have been seen and he's doing really, really well. And it's just exciting to see him. The reason we chose Bami as his name was because it's acknowledgement to his Indonesian heritage, but it was also to pay tribute to and remember um, Auntie Juanita, so our eldest female who we lost the beginning of March. And Bami is a way of saying noodles in Indonesian. We thought this was really fitting as we use we used to call Juanita noodles. So yeah, it was really important for us that we help remember Juanita. He's quite a sweet natured, gentle male. You, just seeing that relationship between him and Malo is just something incredible. You can really see that devotion and that care for that baby from her. Charlie's pretty much keeping his distance at the minute. He's on the canopy climber over there having his greens and um, whereas Malo sat in the tree nest and she's just with the baby relaxing and eating some browse. The baby will pretty much stay attached to mother for one to two years and um, over time he will eventually start um, exploring the habitat and going off but he will always come back to mum. You will literally just see the baby with Malo the whole time. In my career, working with orangutans was one highlight, but to actually experience the whole process of the pregnancy, the birth, and then the baby afterwards is just incredible. Definitely one of the biggest highlights, and it'll be hard to top. Yeah, I feel really lucky and honored to be a part of this whole experience. So Melora is spending a lot more time outside now that she's fully rest and recuperated after giving birth. So if you come to Auckland Zoo, you'll definitely be able to see her out and about in the habitat with the baby. It's such a rare occurrence and something that doesn't happen all the time. So it'd be really cool to come and see the new baby.